rising over Australia. Since the human animal began to think, observation of the wild splendor around him led him to ask questions about the origin of all this. It is curious that despite the lack of humility which characterizes us, no people on earth have ever believed that man created the world. So, if not us, who was it? The Australian Aborigines have their own answer, painted on the rocks of their land. The Aborigine culture revolves around these spiritual ancestors from what they call the dream time, and is transmitted from one generation to another through these drawings and the oral tradition. The dream time explains the creation of the earth and all the living beings, always accompanied by the magical notes of the sacred instrument, the didgeridoo. This is probably the oldest known genesis, or at least the oldest that has reached us still alive in the people that believe in it. This is Namargon, the lightning man responsible for the storms, and this is his wife, Barajin. All the spirits of the Dreamtime voluntarily turned into rocks, mountains and rivers when they had completed their work of creation. Therefore, for the Aborigines, their relation with the land and with the animals that live there is extremely close. They say that the land is their mother, that the eagles are their cousins, and that the trees have blood pumping through them just like us. In short, that we all are one. For over 40,000 years, they have painted on the same rocks time and time again. Even today, some of their designs dating back over 18,000 years remain intact. The stories of the dream time speak of enormous kangaroos now extinct. They explain how each living being was created in balance with all others. They tell of the importance of belonging to a whole, in which a rock and an ant are equally significant, in which each ancestral spirit conceals itself in different forms. The old stories are told and sung, are danced and are lived. Some of these paintings are called X-ray art because they represent the animals on the inside. This detailed knowledge of their surroundings enabled the Australian Aborigines to remain for 60,000 years as hunter-gatherers, barely cultivating the land or breeding cattle. Their great merit is that they have survived until now, while other apparently more powerful cultures, such as the Aztecs, the Romans or the Egyptians, disappeared after producing spectacular cultural achievements. Perhaps the simplicity of their philosophy of life based on the importance of nature contains a profound truth which the world would seem to be forgetting. Perhaps the rainbow serpent shown here really does live in the watercourses as they claim. Perhaps the strange animals of Australia are not there by chance. They are certain they can explain it. Everything is clear if you know how to believe in the dream time. Ah! Hey! 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 Hey!